Hey everybody, we're at Edom Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Wednesday afternoon, March the 7th, and this is my Echo Base Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aquatic Race Course, Ozone Park, New York, first for the race one opener on the card this afternoon, 12.20 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Phillies and Mayor is four years old and up race for a starter allowance purse of some. $38,000. Contenders number five, Isn't She Grand? Number four, Major Molly. Number two, Lady of the Forest. And number three, La La Ben. Number five, Isn't She Grand? An eight time winner spring at six furlongs on the dirt. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. It's the overall speed leader in this allowance field. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt has excellent early speed abilities also to complement for this inner track sprint. She's produced power runs in five straight, hitting the board in four of her last five, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Cornelio Velasquez and trainer Rudy Rodriguez sent her to the post. They fit the board with 54% of more than 125 entries settled as a team to date. Number four, Major Molly, a 4 to 1 shot, also has nice early speed abilities. He is the pace profile leader, has hit the board in three of her last five, winning twice. However, I also note that none of her last five efforts qualified as a power run. Race one summary number five, isn't she grand? Tops my contenders list today, which also includes number four, Major Molly, number two, Lady of the Forest, and number three, La La Ben. That's five, four, two, three in the first from the Big A. Gulfstream Park, race number nine this afternoon, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a five for a long sprint on the turf. Three year olds and up race for an optional claiming prize of some $62,750. Contenders number nine, Far Eddie, number six, Gentleman's Code, number twelve, Dark Bay, and number three, Martini Madness. Number nine, Far Eddie, a four to one shot, the overall pace profile later in its optional claiming field, sprinting at five furlongs on the grass, comes off a power run win, facing better company to break his maiden in his first asking. Jockey Ho Javier Castellano was in his irons. For that win 33 days ago here at Gulfstream Park, which produced a positive 330% return on investment in the process, Castellano is back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number six, Gentleman's Code has hit the board in power and fashion in three of his last five, including a win to break his respective maiden in his fourth race back. Race 9 summary, number 9, Far Ready, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 6, Gentleman's Code, number 12, Dark Bay, and number 3, Martini Madness, 9613 in the ninth from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race 5, the 9 to 2 shot, number 13, Carol Snuck In, drops in class by 11 units, the overall speed leader in this maiden field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of 6 and 1 half furlongs on the dirt. Penn National, race five, the five to one shot, number three, Dark Continent, speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about a mile 70 yards on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five outings, including a power run win in her second race back. So handicapping from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Wednesday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.